Hello everyone, this is a short basic tutorial on Model Survey WordPress plugin. Model Survey is not your average poll questionnaire survey or quiz plugin as it allows you to use quite a few helpful tricks along the way. To begin with, I'll have to assume that you have already downloaded and installed the Model Survey. If you have done so, it should appear right here below the plugins tab. So without further ado, let's start creating some surveys. We shall create our first survey called Demo Survey by typing its name into the box. After that is done, you'll be redirected to the Saved Survey sub tab, where you'll spend most of your time customizing your new survey. Before we begin, however, let's take a look at default settings. If you scroll all the way down towards the bottom of the page, you'll see that there is a default question already waiting for you there. Now, this question can be fully customized or even replaced, but for starters, I'll just add additional answer, which should serve the purpose of this tutorial. Now, I'll move back towards the top of the page and customize the colors. You can choose pretty much any color you like, but in order to make this as simple and as readable, I'll choose this settings. Finally, I'll press the play survey button, which displays the survey. And as you can see, it looks something like this. Let us move on. This here is global survey tick box. If enabled, your survey will be displayed across the entire front end web page. As you can see, survey is displayed both on your website's home page or any other page for that matter. If global survey box isn't ticked, however, you'll be given the opportunity to select specific pages on which you'd like your survey to be displayed. This is where short codes come in handy, but first, don't forget to update your survey as I have. Now, you'll find your survey's unique short code in top right corner of the Saved Survey subtab screen. This is where it is. In order to use it, you only have to copy the short code and paste it somewhere inside specific pages content. It doesn't really matter where you're going to do it. I, for myself, will go with this. After I've updated the page, let's take a look at the end result. You'll remember that the global survey tick box is disabled, hence our survey doesn't appear on the home page anymore. Instead, it is only being shown on the specifically selected page, here. Short codes can be used in a number of ways. If, for instance, you'd like your survey to be embedded inside the content, you only have to add style equals flat after short code's main body text. It looks something like this. And after updating, the end result would be this. This is pretty much it for the basics, but Model Survey can do a lot more than this. Thank you for watching and I hope that I've been helpful enough.